What is up, pipe smokers? Out in the shop on this Saturday morning. Gonna smoke another one this week. Fillmore GLPs. It's a vapor. Red ripe Virginias. And some Louisiana Perique. Let's crack this bad boy open. This is a new tin, by the way, 2018, so it's only got like a year on it. Uh, the other stuff, I have this, but I'm aging it, so I'm gonna open up a new one. Oh, that was weak. That barely even made a pop. I have not had this one before. But uh, people I talked to said that if I liked six pence, then I'm really gonna like this one. So let's see what we got going on. Oh, that red tobacco looks good. Grapefruit, <laughs> instant grapefruit. Look at it! Instant grapefruit. Strong citrusy grapefruit. As usual, I will let this sit a few minutes, try to. It's in a broken flake form, which is fine by me. Looks beautiful, just beautiful. Makes me want to open up one of my older uh, age tins now. <laughs> we'll let this sit a few minutes and we'll get back to you. I'm back. My initial first thoughts, I've been smoking this for a minute or two. It's coming across to me harsh at first. That could be several things. That could be bright and early this morning. Just got out of bed pretty much out here working. It could be I didn't let it dry long enough. Or it could just be the preak in this thing. Right now, I didn't do, I didn't check no reviews on this. Wow. The preak is tearing me up. <laughs> right now it's pretty strong, harsh wise. <clears throat> Heard a lot of good things about this. What I really want to do now is compare that with Sixpence. As you know, I love Sixpence. Lots of thick smoke, easy to light. I am actually getting a little tongue bite with this one. Not much, but it's there. I definitely think this one needs to sit a while. I think this is definitely too fresh. 2018, but still. I'm gonna let this dry out for sure next time. But taste-wise, really good. It's really spicy, citrusy. To me, the Perique's definitely dominating the Virginia, at least right now anyway. Uh, like I said, this is just my first two minutes of, of the, the tin, but if I had to choose at this moment right now, I'd take six pence over this. But that may change. Nonetheless, I can tell it's definitely some good high quality tobacco. Tobacco. I was digging through it, it almost looked like there was some cigar leaf in there, but I know there, I'm assuming there isn't. I wouldn't imagine there is. Nonetheless, uh, very nice looking. 
I would definitely rate this right now above average for sure. Mm, I could imagine a couple more years. This stuff's going to be phenomenal. I will probably, what I usually do is when I open all these new tins like this all the time, I'll uh, smoke them for that week or I'll take them, you know, to work with me while I'm working on the roads and I'll smoke a little bit here and there and the rest goes right to the mason jars. Not bad. I honestly had a little higher expectations for it just by people's opinions of it telling me how much I'm going to like it. But uh, like I said, they might have been smoking a little bit older tin too. Nonetheless, still good. It's just to me that Preek is really dominating this tobacco. Anyway, I'm going to get some stuff done today. May have another video coming tomorrow. Fillmore GLPs, give it a try. Talk to you boys and girls later.